here, Hierarch. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies, but that may not be its sole purpose. I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. Robotic assault units can now be added to our army, Hierarch. Adun Toridas. I return to serve. Adun Toridas. Uh, hey there, your royal ness. Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no Protoss before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. Continue your report. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? Zeratul, old friend. I have the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet... Faith alone will not defeat Amon. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their con- of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Io when we were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed. Not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. I've been trying to isolate the major population centers in need of evacuation. The Zerg signatures far outnumber those of the Protoss, but most of the survivors seem to have gathered within Talametros. There must be Nerezin phase smiths you know among them. Those who stayed behind. 
I am not seeing any Protoss life signs from within the engineering base, Hierarch. Then they have met their fate. Or perhaps they've fought their way to safety. The Dark Templar do not follow our caste system. Some of their face myths are trained warriors, skilled as any of ours. That does give them an advantage I have not realized. But then, our people are very different. Of course, Hierarch. The War Council awaits you, Hierarch. All this time, this wretched little world was within striking distance of our fleets. Much has changed since your era, Preserver. First you consort with those Herons, and now the Fallen Ones? It is heresy. You must know this. The Dark Templar are now our allies. There was a time when the Protoss were broken. Throughout the Aeon of Strife, we tore at each other with wanton abandon. Only one path was ever found to end the madness and unify our people. The Kala. The Dark Ones rejected its light. They denied their own race. How can you fight for them? For one so sworn to preserve our history, Rohana, how can you be so blind to its turn? I... I see I have offended you, Hierarch. My apologies. Adapting to this period is... difficult. Station is overtaking Telemetros. Our evacuation is already in great peril. Your aid cannot come soon enough, Hierarch. Shakuras teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. You will need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. I bask in the twilight. Enough minerals. You have not 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 enough. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Thrasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Warriors, we must slay it before it destroys the conduit. Strike as one, Templar! You seek for naught if the launch bays remain infested. Clever. I am intrigued. I am the... 
the blade of the narrow sea. These vaults hold the Solarite reserves that power Ptolemetros. You may claim them with our blessing, Hierarch. Enough. Indeed, completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of Adun's power. There are two vaults left in the city. Nexus point. I am intrigued. By the you have We move unseen. Nasperu Unadar. and overseers ahead can detect our Dark Templar's movements. Slay them first. I am in I will come. Clever. By the void. I am intrigued. They shall fall. The conduit is under assault. I am the queen of the narrative. I am the voice of the eclipse.
Thrasher has been eliminated. This would be an opportune moment to clear the launch bays. Launch bay has been cleared. Continue evacuating. Clever.
infestation. Only one launch bay remains disabled.
launch bays have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artanis, and they will never forget it.